Guys, the future of video is officially here, and it's called VO2. Google DeepMind just absolutely mogged OpenEye with their new text-to-video model, VO2. And it's not just a step up, it's a freaking quantum leap. We've been talking about AI video for a while now, but this, this is different. Now, I'll be honest, I was a little skeptical at first. I mean, Google, they've got a bit of a reputation for, shall we say, enhancing their demos. So I waited, kept my ear to the ground, checked out what the AI community was saying. And now... Now, I can confidently say this model absolutely crushes Sora. You know, Sora is cool, but it still looked kind of artificial, you know? But then I saw VO2 from Google DeepMind. Guys, I'm absolutely stunned. This thing is insane. The realism, the detail, it's like they somehow downloaded a Hollywood director's brain into an AI. Now, if you've been following the AI space, you know things move fast. Like, blink and you'll miss it fast. It's a constant battle, everyone trying to one-up each other. One day, a new model comes out, it's the best thing since sliced bread. The next day, BAM! Someone else comes along and blows it out of the water. It's wild, it's unpredictable, and honestly, it's a little bit insane. But even in this crazy competitive world of AI, VO2 is a major surprise. Nobody saw this coming, or at least nobody expected it to be this good. We're talking about a model that's not just a step up from Sora and the other competitors. It's a giant leap. It's redefining what's possible with AI-generated video. Alright, so I've been throwing around some pretty big claims about VO2, right? Saying it's better than Sorta, better than the rest. But you don't have to just take my word for it. We've got the receipts. We've got the benchmarks. See, there's this thing called Movie Gen Bench. It was actually put out by Facebook Research. You know, Meta. And it's basically this open platform where different AI video models can throw their hat in the ring, submit their best work, and have real people rig them. It's like the Olympics of AI video. And it's the best way we have right now to really compare these models head to head. People are rating these videos on two main things. Overall preference, basically. Which video do you like better? Which one looks more impressive? And prompt adherence. That's how well the AI actually followed the instructions, how well it created what the prompt was asking for. And the results? Well, they're pretty clear. VO2 absolutely crushes it. Let's look at overall preference first. When pitted against Sora Turbo, and remember, that's the latest and greatest version of Sora that you can use on linktosora.com. VO2 was preferred a whopping 58% of the time. Sora Turbo, only 26%. The rest were ties. That's a massive difference, folks. Against other models, it's the same story. Minimax got picked 30% of the time. Keeling 1.5, which has been making some waves, got 32%. Even Meta's own movie, which we don't have public access to yet, only scored 30%. VO2 is consistently coming out on top. Now... Let's talk about prompt adherence. Again, VO2 is leading the pack. It's consistently scoring higher than the competition in its ability to accurately follow the prompt. It shows that VO2 not only creates stunning visuals, but also really understands what you're asking it to do. To put this in perspective, let's say you expect two models to tie, like 15% of the time, right? That's a reasonable assumption. That means if it was just pure random chance, each model would be picked about 42% of the time. So the fact that VO2 is consistently hitting these numbers in the high 50s, that's a huge deal. It means people aren't just randomly picking it. They genuinely prefer the output of VO2. Now, looking at these numbers, it seems like Keeling AI is probably the closest competitor to VO2, especially when compared to Sora. But even then, there's a significant gap. VO2 is just operating on a different level. These benchmark results are a big deal. They're not just numbers on a chart. They're proof that VO2 is a major leap forward in AI video generation. It's not just about creating pretty pictures. It's about creating videos that are more realistic, more controllable, and more aligned with what we, as creators, envision. And that's what makes VO2 so exciting. You know how most AI-generated videos have that kind of janky, unrealistic feel? Like things don't quite move or react the way they should? That's because most of these models are just spitting out images based on patterns they've learned. They don't actually understand how the real world works. But Google, being Google, seems to have cracked the code with VO2. I mean, we don't have all the technical details of how their new model works, but the results speak for themselves. Take this example of a tomato being sliced. It's not just a red blob getting cut in half. You can practically feel the texture, the juiciness. The way the knife moves through it, the tiny vibrations, the way the slice settles, it's ridiculously realistic. It's like VO2 actually understands that a tomato is a physical object with weight and density. And liquids? Forget about it. Liquids are notoriously tough for AI to handle. They're chaotic, unpredictable. 
Think about how long it takes a powerful computer to render realistic water simulations in movies. But VO2? It handles liquids like a champ. We're talking coffee pouring with realistic swirls and ripples. Syrup dripping with that perfect, slow, gooey flow. You can almost taste it. The way these liquids move, interact with their containers, and even jiggle when the glass is set down. It's mind-blowing. It tells you that this AI has a deep understanding of how fluids behave. It's not just mimicking, it's simulating. And this realism gives me a ton of hope for the future of AI-generated video. Google has a history of pushing the boundaries in this field. They've been behind some of the biggest breakthroughs in video generation technology that have paved the way for models like Sora. So it's no shock that they're leading the charge again. Okay, so VO2 physics understanding is really good, but look at this video. Someone made a movie trailer using VO2, and photorealism is freaking awesome. We start with a cop confronting. A stormtrooper? In front of a Starbucks? Okay, already we're in Bizarreville, and it's kind of awesome. The visuals are sharp, the lighting is on point, and honestly, that stormtrooper looks legit. This is already way beyond what I expected. Next thing you know, we've got a UFO landing on the White House lawn, and a chihuahua in a sweater is the first one out. A chihuahua? I can't even. This is the kind of unexpected, hilarious stuff that AI dreams are made of. And again, the visuals are top-notch. That spaceship looks like it's straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster. Now we're in some kind of ice cave, with astronauts exploring these weird, frozen alien figures. This is the kind of high-concept sci-fi imagery that usually requires a massive budget, and VO2 is just cranking it out like it's no big deal. This trailer is everything I love about AI creativity. It's imaginative, it's visually stunning, and it's not afraid to get a little weird. This isn't just another AI trying to mimic reality. It's an AI having fun and creating something truly unique. Alright, let's take a critical look at this one. Of course, this model is not perfect. The first thing that jumps out at me is the lack of impact. When she lands those jumps, there's no real sense of weight or force. It's like she's floating. There's no bounce. You know how gymnasts have that powerful landing, where you can practically feel the impact through the screen? Yeah, that's missing here. It's too smooth. Too perfect. Look, I'm not saying this is a terrible video. It's definitely watchable, and if you didn't know it was A-generated, you might not immediately question it. But when you compare it to the best of what VO2 can do, like that crazy movie trailer, this one falls short. It's a reminder that even the most advanced AI models have their limitations. VO2 is clearly capable of incredible things, but it's not perfect. It struggles with the subtle nuances of human movement, especially when it comes to complex athletic performances like this one. This video is a perfect example of how AI can create something that's almost believable but not quite there. It's in that uncanny valley where it's just realistic enough to be unsettling but not realistic enough to be convincing. So yeah, while VO2 has shown us some mind-blowing stuff, this ain't it. It's a decent attempt, but it's a reminder that AI still has a long way to go before it can truly replicate the complexity and dynamism of the real world. This is a B at best, maybe even a C plus. VO2 can do better, and I expect it will in the future. But for now, this is a reminder that even the best AI is still learning. So this is VO2. Now, currently, you have to be on the waitlist to join. Just click on this button, and it'll walk you through how to do it. You just give them some basic info, and it sounds like it's rolling out to people now because some people are already posting videos on Twitter. The thing that really jumps out, first of all, they're saying that the high quality output can be up to 4K. And I gotta say, some of these videos look really, really high resolution, high detail, and of course, in different styles. But also, extensive camera controls. As you've seen in that olive green muscle car drifting around the corner, if that's the level of detail that you can produce with this, this will be the best camera controls that I've seen thus far. They also mention advanced motion capabilities. And these are, in part, due to an understanding of physics and VO2's ability to follow detailed instructions. This enhances the realism and fidelity. Let me know what you think. Is this the best model that's available right now? Is this the clear winner? You know, at least assuming that these are not cherry-picked. I mean, a lot of these people that are posting, they're people that have had access to VO2 and are just posting their generations. I don't think they're trying to, you know, pick the most cherry-picked ones. But so far there were a few that were a little bit off, but man, most of these are absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Anyways, let me know what you think. My name is PY Man, and I'll see you next time.